it's not strong enough. There's no ridges on here, so I'm not trying to drive a big big one here. I'd end up with problems that go out here, possibly uh, spoon out and, and uh, terminate in a hinge fracture. So I'm just trying to get my ridges established. See what happened? This is a result of this touching the leather pad right here. Not a big deal, but this one will go a little further. All right, what we did is we undercut some of the problem areas we had in here now. So now we can, let's see, yeah, I think right about in here we can rip off a couple of them right in here. Well, I love this stone. A lot of people hate obsidian and dacite. I like this a lot better than obsidian, but it sure is pretty and, well, it's a pretty black color and just so nice. Flawless. have much of a ridge. Could have went over here, maybe I should have, but it's quite all right. Did what I wanted it to do. Okay, now this area in here, you can see it's kind of mumbo jumbo here. We're going to braid it. Just trying to get rid of this thick edge. I'm not trying to drive big massive flakes. Okay, so we succeeded in doing that. Now this braider, at least I don't, when I'm using the, uh, the antler or the hippo or ivory. Got a really small one here. This is Warthog. And it works pretty good for setting up the platforms. a little better there. That's what I like. It's just a narrow, not real, real wide. It's isolated. This should go pretty good. The antler would have gone further, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, better stick with what works. I had pretty good results the last few days playing around with it, with a hippo. But, uh, being that I do 90 plus percent of my work with the, the copper, that's what I'm used to. And uh, I can definitely see the potential of the, uh, of the ivory though. Probably 
probably going to have to edit this thing down. It looks like it's going to take an hour or more to get this thing thinned down. Probably more than anybody wants to sit and watch. Okay, basically more of the same. We're just kind of thinning it down. I'm trying to get the end. This end here is pretty thick now, relative. Using my, uh, what is this, one, one inch? One inch copper bopper. I like to come back sometimes, go get it from side to side. You can see small little termination there with a rise. That would the, the next one for sure isn't going to go any further than that. So if you go back and forth and try and keep your terminations clean from side to side, back and forth, back and forth, that works pretty good for me. See that is too that's too far below the center plane there. Yeah, what would happen is the flag would be too thin. back up a little bit. Make it more regular in shape. All these little flakes to get these platforms set up. A whole lot of that for a small number of major flake removers. It's got to be 10 to 1 or something like that. All right, now get ready to do it and you can see that it ain't quite right. I need to drive this one back over here. Deal with this base right now. Otherwise I'm going to have to remove flakes from the base up. And then I'm going to lose some length. I don't want to lose too much length, so I'd rather do them from side to side. See how that kind of went into there. That's what I'm looking for. And it created a small ridge. I can probably drive one off right in here. Okay, now come back over here. the base nicely without having to shoot flakes up this way. You don't lose any length by trying to have to make a platform and everything. Especially on the really big ones where the material gets kind of rare when you get into really big bifaces that are 18 inches and more. You don't want to lose any length so you want to thin everything from the side if you can. Slow process, back and forth, back and forth. I don't like that termination there, that's not good. I catch it from over here. I struck too much into the stone. It's small. It's not a big step, but nonetheless, little ones like that can be, get larger and larger if you don't deal with them. So, okay, I got part of it. Now I think we can go in here and get another one going here. Isolate this a little bit more. A couple small flakes. That should do it. 